Well, you've seen the countdown. This is it. Tonight is Nelson's last broadcast here on Action 7 News. After the 6 o'clock news, of course, he'll be back here at 10. But we could not let him get away without a look back. And Diane Anderson is going to give us that look back. Diane? That's right, Doug. One of the things that made Nelson such a successful anchor here at Action 7 News is that he knows New Mexico. He grew up here, got a start in broadcasting here, worked around the world, and then moved right back here. Let me show you how he got to KOAT. Nelson got an early start in broadcasting back in 1964 as a DJ at radio station KDCE, KDC Radio in Española, close to his hometown of Chimayo. He was only 17. He worked at several other radio stations in the next few years before deciding to try his hand in TV. Cloud conditions over Ohio are not recognize this young man. In 1973, Nelson auditioned to become a weathercaster in Cleveland, Ohio. He didn't land that position. Instead, he got an engineering license and went to work as an editor behind the scenes. This is the get down Eventually, part of NBC that. hired him as a field producer and video editor, which led to this opportunity, joking around on camera in Havana, Cuba. <laughs> But after traveling Latin America for the network, Nelson decided he wanted to come back home and try again to get on the air. So he walked into KOAT and convinced then news director Mary Lynn Roper to give him a chance. And here's this great looking, great voice guy who says he grew up in Chimayo and he's working for NBC uh, behind the scenes as a videotape editor and he wants to get in front of the camera and he wants to live in New Mexico. So. I thought, hmm, my mama didn't raise no fool. Number one news source, Action 7 News, with Nelson Martinez, the early morning edition. Good morning, we're counting down. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a little bit more to that, but we, we know that Nelson went moved from mornings then to weeknights, and I teamed up with him. Gosh, it's been more than a dozen years oh, now. Least, yeah. And tonight <laughs> at 10 o'clock, we're going to show you those years after he's come to KOAT and you can't imagine all the different hairstyles and outfits <laughs> along we the way had. so bring your tissues and get up tonight and stay with us at 10 o'clock and look back at Nelson's career it'll be fun and know. Nelson and I did some math just a moment ago we calculated he's done about 8400 oh newscasts my. as an anchor I'm sure a UNM yeah. professor will call in correct me but we figured uh, more muscle than eight 8401 because you got one left to go right oh, there you go right. <laughs> right. it's, right. it's been just you, wonderful well, Joe Diaz is in Old Town tonight with a very special lighting of the Christmas tree. Well, in a business where people come and go, Nelson Martinez has been a mainstay in New Mexico television news for 15 years. Tonight is his last broadcast with KOAT Action 7 News. Before we let him go, here's a look back at the man many of you invited into your living rooms almost every night. After an early start as a radio DJ and then a number of years working behind the scenes as a video editor for NBC, nine minutes before seven, the state Supreme Court has dealt Nelson landed an on-camera job at KOAT in 1985. Thursdays are time to celebrate this month. He's co-anchored with a lot of familiar faces over the years and eventually teamed up with me for well over a decade. The weekend is almost here. Seven News presents Celebrate New Mexico. Along the way, we've celebrated New Mexico with festive live broadcast all over the state. Spent dozens of nippy early mornings bringing live coverage from Balloon Fiesta. Southern part of Albuquerque around Blinn. Good evening. Watched me swell through two pregnancies. Endured endless hairdos. And laughed about some rather unusual outfits, like this peachy combination on May 5th, 1997, affectionately called Pinco de Mayo. Uh, van a mandar más gente para ayudar con las over the years, one of the most emotional stories for Nelson was the non-stop coverage of the Cerro Grande fire, an area so familiar because he grew up in northern New Mexico and graduated from Los Alamos High School. We're going to have a partly cloudy day today. Uh, cloudy in the morning. Nelson's years in TV inspired his son to follow in his footsteps, although Jeff chose weather instead of news. They worked together here at KOAT for about a year and a half. Jeff is now the chief meteorologist in Reno, Nevada. One of the funniest stories I remember when I used to work at Action 7 News doing the weather, I was filling in one night for Howard Morgan, and my dad tosses uh, to the weather center, and he says, let's go to Howard now, and he stops, well, let's go to Jeff now in the weather center, and that was just a funny time. Along the way, the restless Nelson decided to add something else to his resume, a new twist to his profession that took a little persuasion to get the go-ahead. When he originally came up with the mariachi idea, 
think corporate headquarters was like, are you kidding, an anchor that's singing? I mean, what is that, like the Flying Nun or what? And I'm like, no, 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 it'll work. This is great. It's, it's wonderful about the Hispanic culture and heritage, and, and it's been a great success. Success that's now added up to six CDs and a favorite duet with New Mexico cowboy Michael Martin Murphy. Well, I know I speak for a lot of New Mexicans when I say we're going to miss you, so you have to come back and visit. And I want to make sure I keep all my promotional pictures with you, so when you get to Hollywood, you will remember who I am. <laughs> but of course. But of course. It, it has been wonderful to work with all of you. A yeah, growing experience, to say the least. And you know, the one person that's probably going to miss me the most on television is my mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, uh, she watches every, time, you know, every day in uh, Santa Fe, but she also watches the novela. So I said, Mom, I'll go try out for a part in a novela. <laughs> <laughs> Bless your heart. And, uh, and all the folks that have been so... Um, so terrific throughout the years. They've, uh, they've sh you know, invited me to your, their homes, as you said. And uh, it's just been absolutely fantastic. I grew an experience. And I tell the kids that today, man, stay in school and read, read, read. Yeah. And, and then you come out here and read. Read and for make, a living, yeah, huh? and read for a living. <laughs> make a uh, decent living. Well, keep these but, handy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the letters and the well wishes. I can't fail with all those well wishes, and I'll answer every one of them, that's for sure. All right. And thank you. Yeah. I feel like I've been married to you. 13, <laughs> 10 years. That's because it lasted longer than your life. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, they got set. <laughs> Oh All right, we've got to get on to the winter. Well, you, you, you know what? I mean, and here you're leaving, Nelson, and it's December, and before you know it's going to be Christmas Eve. And, you know, people, they get these little sacks, and they put sand in them, and they put <laughs> candles in them, you know. What and, are they and, called? And what are they called? <laughs> what are they called? Well, you know, when I grew up in Chimayo, in northern New Mexico, Los Alamos, we call them farolitos, because the, uh -huh. the pronunciation, you know, a little lantern is called a farolito, this because a lantern. I know, yeah. yeah. For so I got a little lanterns of farolitos. Hey. So I'm going to give you what I'm going to call a holiday compromise. <laughs> there you go. And we're going to market this all over New Mexico, you see, <laughs> and then in 99% of the communities, we can face it this way where yeah. it says, Luminaria. Yeah, and then All for right. that block you grew up in, Chimayo. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's true in both cases because uh, Luminaria means it illuminates the way, there and that's go. what this does, it illuminates the way, but Luminaria, or uh, Farolito means a small... You're never going to win that <laughs> argument, Joe. You might as well just do the and weather. And we're not leaving Albuquerque. We're staying here. Oh, and good. I'll shuttle to L.A. if uh, necessary or when necessary. So we're going to stay here in beautiful uh, North Valley. There. So he'll have luminarius then. Yes, I, I have. Well, well, this is my gift to you, and you dig down in that sand, you'll probably find a gold watch or something. <laughs> that countdown clock we've been watching, oh, the alarm's going off. The alarm's going off. It's time to get out of here. No kidding. You know, and, and as all of you know, you know, you can't do something this daring. You know, you like you quit the middle of your career to change careers without your loved ones, uh, your your spouse. You know, and and Gina, my wife, she's lovely. We grew up seven miles apart in Chimayo, Espanola Valley, and we're in sync, and she supports me wholeheartedly. And I thank her for that. Yeah. That's for sure. And thank a lot of people. And tomorrow I'm going to go meet some of these lovely uh, viewers in Silver City at Walmart. <laughs> 12, to no, 12 to 3 tomorrow, Saturday okay, and Sunday. Here, you know? <laughs> but uh, uh, ha sido un tremendo satisfacción estar con todos ustedes. Gracias por su apoyo. I really thank you for your support, and I'll miss you. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I hear you can thank buy you. it on NelsonMartinez.com. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> right on, Joe. Thank you. Yeah. NelsonMartinez.com. You can keep in touch with me through there. That's for sure. <laughs> thank you and good night and bless you all. That's for sure. <laughs> good night. That's a lot of fun. Action 7 News Live at 10. Winner of the Associated Press and New Mexico's Broadcasters Association Awards for Best Newscast. It's coverage you can count on.